Hey everybody, today we're going to go to a website called uh, wordart.com and we're going to create a word cloud using this website. So what you're going to do is once you open up your browser, you're going to type in your Omnibox wordart.com. Now, once you have typed wordart.com, you're going to select enter. And um, they already have one here, but we don't want that. What we're going to do is create a uh, student project for our class. So I want you to go to this uh, green rectangle here, select create. Now, once you select create, I want you to think of four different words related to uh, any career that um, you would like to uh, present one you must use your name so one of the templates you will uh, uh, type your name the other template you will type a career and the other two uh, templates you can um, type a personality trait or your career smart so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here where it says word cloud art and then type a new word here where it says word i'm gonna type my name there first and the second uh template i'm gonna type uh, my career which is education i'm going to type a uh, another part of my education technology and the last one i'm going to type the type of career smart i am and i'm people smart and i'm going to type that uh, okay so you can type people smart or music smart um nature smart um we talked about that a couple of weeks ago so any one of those will be fine all right, now once you have done that, you're gonna come down here where it says shapes, fonts, layout, and style. So where it says shapes, now this is the fun part. You're gonna um, go scroll down and pick out one of the shapes that you would like your word cloud to look like. And they are so many, you can, actually you can make three or four of these uh, word art uh, templates because it's really, really, um, really fun i like to make these and put them in presentations and things like that but you decide what you like i think i'm going to start with this butterfly i like this butterfly all right now you're going to go to fonts that's the next one so you select now and the fonts they have so many different types of fonts so you select the font choice that you like you may want maybe you want to make three or four everyone could be a different font i like this one griffy um the layout um, random, custom, crop, horizontal, whichever one you want to uh, create, you select that. Um, and then you're going to go here to style. Now this one, take your time with this one. This is where you're going to select the, your color choices and you can move these bars. Um, you also can select the boxes for your backgrounds. Um, if you know the hexa codes here, you can type your own hexa codes or you can just basically uh, select the different colors here and you can also customize and create your own colors. And once you've done that, you can select apply. Uh, here is the second color that you might want to choose. So you have two different effects. Okay, so here are the my color choices. Now, once you um, are satisfied, you're going to select the red rectangle that says visualize. And then once you do that, wait a few seconds. And it's going to create something really, really cool. All right. So here are the words. I have technology. You see my name, education, people smart. Now, if you want to, if you like what you see, keep it. If you don't like what you see, then um, you can go back and recustomize it. Um, now it's time to save it. So go to your download, and then you're going to save it as a standard PNG. Now, once you make that selection, it's going to 
come over here to your left side. You decide where you want your uh, image to be saved. Okay, so I'm going to put mine in my pictures folder. And then you hit save. And that's it. All right, so have fun. You can make this up to maybe, let's say no more than four. All right, have fun.